guys, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we got a gigantic update on Scream 5. We have an official title and some brand new set photos that I'm going to talk about here in just a second, but first I'm going to need you guys to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. All right, now let's get into it. What's your favorite scary movie? Uh, sometimes. That is better. Oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! There are other entities who are malevolent and have a more insidious agenda. So yesterday, Kevin Williamson tweeted out a whole bunch of tweets talking about the new film. Williamson said on Twitter, That's a wrap on Scream, which I'm excited to announce is the official title of the next film. Nearly 25 years ago when I wrote Scream and Wes Craven brought it to life, I could not have imagined the lasting impact it would have on you, the fans. I'm excited for you to return to Woodsboro and get really scared again. I believe Wes would have been so proud of the film that Matt and Tyler are making. I'm thrilled to be reunited with Nev, Courtney, David, and Marley, and to be working a alongside a new filmmaking team. An incredible cast of newcomers that have come together to continue Wes's legacy with the upcoming relaunch of the franchise that I hold so dear to my heart. See you in theaters January 2022. So from this we learn that the official title of the film is just going to be Scream and not Scream 5 or 5 Cream. I was really hoping they'd do 5 Cream. That's a little disappointing, but it's okay. Now the reason that they do this in Hollywood is if you make it Scream 5, people who are coming to the series for the first time kind of feel like they have an obligation to see the other four films before they see this one. Even though this new film is kind of being marketed as a reboot. So unfortunately they are just going to be calling it Scream, which is a little bland and boring. But hey, why are we complaining about a new Scream film? Am I right? If we have to call it Scream 22, whatever. At least it's not something dumb like Scream Again or Scream Forever After. Scream the Squeakquel. I'm never gonna stop making Alvin and the Chipmunks jokes on this channel. Never. But along with these three very long tweets that I just read to you, we also got some new set photos that might give away something pretty interesting about this new film. Now in this picture that I'm putting up on the screen right now, you can see a dude in the background wearing a Woodsboro Letterman's jacket. Now, maybe I'm totally crazy, and it is kind of blurry in the background, but it looks like he's holding a knife. I'm probably crazy, that's a bit of a stretch probably. Maybe his hand is just in a weird position, but it does kind of look like he's holding a knife there. We can't really see a head, and I can't really tell if it's a dude or a girl. Probably a dude, but who knows? I don't assume genders. I'm sure this isn't really anything, it just kind of looked funny to me. But there is something we did get kind of revealed in these pictures. If you look in the background, the house that they're standing in front of looks almost identical to Stu Mocker's house from the original film. So are we going to be revisiting the Mocker household in this new film? Now I have to say this every Scream video because I'm still getting comments from people saying that I'm just putting out false information. But this is just speculation. The only thing that I have to confirm in this video is the actual title of the film and the fact that they did wrap up filming. But this dude in the background and what kind of looks like Stu's house, all just speculation. Now I also have some news for you Samara Weaving fans out there like myself. She unfortunately Unfortunately, could not be in this new film, but the Radio Silence guys who have worked with her in the past did kind of want to squeeze her into this movie somehow. But Matt was in a recent interview talking about Samara Weaving possibly being cast in the new Scream, and without hesitation gave the answer of, yes, we would love to make every movie with Samara. She's just ridiculously talented. The schedules just didn't work out because she's in Australia now doing all these amazing things, so it's hard to get her. But we definitely talked about it. Maybe down the road. Maybe she'll be in one of the future Scream movies. Now, if this is coming as a surprise to you, that there could be another Scream film after this new one. I did talk about it in an earlier update, which you should get caught up on all of them. All these kind of stack on top of each other. So if you didn't see the last one, it's kind of hard to see the next one. There is the possibility of Samara Weaving playing a character in the future of this new Scream series. Because hopefully if Scream 5 does well, I guess the Radio Silence team wants to make this a new trilogy. So that means we will have Scream 5, 6, and 7 coming in the future. As long as Scream 5 does well, fingers crossed. So what do you guys think about all these Scream 5 updates? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching my little Scream 5 update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at KilljoyJake1 and on Instagram at Killjoy underscore Jake. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.